think about charcuterie? <laughs> the phrase fast casual probably doesn't come to mind, right? But one young woman started a business to change that. Cured is right in the heart of Beacon Hill. And now there's also a location in New York City. So we caught up with the owner, Jilly Rosnick, to learn how she came up with this unique concept. Take a look. We try to make it lighthearted, fun, energetic, dynamic, um, and cheese, cheese is that. She calls it Chipotle for charcuterie. It's like meat origami. Cured on Charles Street is in the heart of Beacon Hill. It's the first quick serve uh, charcuterie concept. The owner and founder, Jilly Rosnick, got the idea for fast casual charcuterie during her time at Boston College. When I was in college, I studied in Madrid. So I learned a lot about the product, and I really kind of fell in love with more so what the product could do, uh, which is it brought people together every day around a table. My school had this entrepreneurship program that I did, and I ended up uh, kind of learning a lot about what it takes to run a food business. Um, I started making charcuterie boards just as a side hustle uh, for friends and family. Cured is more than just a place to pick up a cheese board or a sandwich. And this is this, this is the back line. So this is kind of how Cured started. It was the original idea. It's a Chipotle style line where you can go down, pick your meats, your cheeses. We have a ton of sides um, and we have different size boxes. Cured offers custom boxes and even smaller charcuterie cups. Yeah, back here is all things boxes, platters. It's a charcuterie party back here. All the products have an emphasis on local ingredients. We bring a lot of our cheeses in from, you know, Western Massachusetts, um, New Hampshire, Vermont, that sort of thing. Cured was born during the pandemic right after Jilly graduated in 2020. And now at 25 years old, with two locations under her belt, Jilly is just getting started. First alert weather on NBC10 Boston. Boston's most accurate forecast. Seven's joining us right now with the forecast in just a second. I have a quick story about that young lady. Yes. A few years ago when she first opened the one in Beacon Hill, I saw yeah. it all over TikTok and I was like, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. So I walked in and I was like, hi. This is when I was still doing the hub today down yeah. the hallway. And I was like, hi, I was looking to see who the owner is. And she goes, it's me. And I go, <laughs> excuse me? And she was like, it's me. I had the idea. I went to BC and she was like, and I, I, I came up with this idea. Flash forward a couple weeks ago. I'm in New York City walking down the street. No way. And I see her wow. second location. Wow. That's brilliant. amazing. Yeah. You figured it out. She, yeah. It's brilliant. It's such I mean, a great idea. It's fast food and charcuterie. Two of the best things in the world. Right, <laughs> right exactly. Yeah.